Thanks, Sound Tower. Robin India, Sierra November is ready at holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 to right for an upwind departure. India, Sierra November, line up runway right. Line up runway right, India, Sierra November. Foxtrot, India, Foxtrot, clear visual approach runway right, number one. Clear visual approach runway right, number one, Foxtrot, India, Foxtrot. Bravo Lima Echo, joint base main pad. Bravo Lima Echo, joint base main pad. Mike Alpha Quebec. India Sierra November, runway right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway right, India Sierra November. Some some pressures, a little green, hill bump off, flaps are uh, up. Yeah, it's blown all the mist south. Hmm. Is that concerning? Not really. Okay. Mark Alpha Quebec, from my left, clear, touch and go. It's low. Touch and go, Mark Alpha Quebec. From my left. But is that visibility good enough, you reckon? Seems fine, yeah. The, the change of season, the fog, fog and mist, you get that also in autumn, the first fog you start getting it to change over because the temperatures are getting lower. Oh right, okay. So, and this is because the temperatures are rising, oh, yeah, okay. it's the change, okay. You get the highs which okay. is subsidence inversion. You're gonna have to overtake him on the right, hey? Yep. Okay. Thanks downtown, Robin, Victor, Charlie, Foxtrot, ready for upwind departure 29 right. I'll continue heading right a bit and then we'll... Victor Charlie Foxtrot, runway right, clear for takeoff. Runway right, clear for takeoff, Victor Charlie Foxtrot. This is a good enough angle, isn't it? The uh, boarding yeah. takeoff complete on I'll the I'm uh, wondering if we could uh, take off on runway centre uh, for one more circuit on the left. Juliet, <laughs> Whiskey, Yankee, backtrack and line up runway centre. Light up, runway center, Joe was Yankee. Just keep him in sight, yep. He can't out climb us. No. I can see him for now. Uh, oh, what the hell is this called? Yankee, just this, this type of plane. Fox bat. Fox bat, that's right. Oh, the yellow ones. They do about 90 knots, cruise. Okay, so, coming under us now. Whiskey Yankee, runway center, clear for takeoff, make a right circuit. Alright, so if I level off, we'll, clear we'll take have runway center, take take a make a right circuit. Yeah. Yeah. Overtaken.
that's why I call him a flying chicane. Yeah. Yeah, it really didn't get out of here too quick, did it? All right. Yeah. Frequency is 13525. Five. So it tells you the name of the frequency for the ones around here, but not the ones further out. Are they, is this like programmed manually by Pete? Or? Yeah, correct. Okay. Wondering if it was more intelligent than that somehow, based on your position. Pretty soon I'll make a comm set that does. Say what? I'll probably make a new comm set that does. Oh yeah? I'm sure the, you know, the G1000 or whatever does that, eh? Hey? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, they're a marvelous piece of kit. They do everything for you. Yeah, it seems like it. Maybe that's harmful to training, though. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's good for the accomplished. Yeah, sure. All right, so from Fringelli, we're turning to uh, 278 to go to Oberon. Jelly 52, half past the hour. Turn it on to 278. We're shot it a little bit. A traffic low down there. Jelly is 5-2, Bankstown is 4-6. Um, yep. Engine, what, what, sorry? What time have you got? I've got 5 two and a half, maybe 5-3 we'll call it. Okay. What, what have you got? I've got zero five. Oh, well shit, uh, should I change my, my clock? <laughs> go with <laughs> yours. All right, all right, I'll go with mine then. Uh, the engine looks okay, make sure it's full rich. 
I'm going to start climbing. Actually, I'm going to get back on heading and then I'm going to start climbing. I'm going to climb to 4 or 5 for now. Alright, so while that's happening, 5 2 plus 2 4 is uh, 7 6, which is the same thing as 1 6. So that's ETA 1. I gotta add two minutes for climb, as I said. So that's one eight. There's that traffic. Oh wow. Okay. That's I've been doing. I probably should have done a clearing turn to check on that guy. Hey, maybe I'll do a clearing turn now. Charlie Whiskey, Roger. I don't have you identified at the moment, but copied. Uh, Cancelling IFR, far. Resuming VFR. Score one two zero zero. Things to change approved. Get out. One two zero zero. Things to change approved. Thank you, Charlie Whiskey. Take off the left control there, space control service terminate, contact center 135 decimal 25. So 135 decimal 25, okay, take Expect one minute for that climb plus uh, 12 is 13. Thanks, Tony. 5 2 plus 13 is 05. Alright. Level off here. Thanks, down ground. This is Warrior November Fox Foxtrot Romeo holding short of taxiway. I guess I'm not supposed to check the compass while I'm accelerating, am I? No, I'm not supposed to. It'll swing. Yeah. I forget which way it slings, but I know it slings. It swings. Wait till you get at a constant, constant velocity, then check it. Yep. on the ground at Bankstown, you're continuing transmissions and blipping on 12455. Check your frequency, Banks. How did that go the wrong way? All right. Ground warrior November Foxtrot Romeo, holding show taxiway one. Uh, taxi for a uplift departure. Information Bravo. November Foxtrot Romeo, incorrect frequency. You're on area. Okay, so we are allowed to. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong map. All stations, hold next turn. Victor Caravan, approximately three minutes. Parachute drop by there. The field expect going to be. What do we say? We're allowed to climb to 6500 once we pass the water. Is that right? That's this bit here, is the same as, uh, shit, this bit here, is that right? No. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to climb again. I guess I should have given the two minutes to that first, uh, first half. I've lost my heading, though.
revise that, add one minute. At 06. our orientation we cross the water that's the right direction future times I put in here I'll put in my fuel times uh, use 75 knots is our best rate of climb uh, yep You lose an engine here, where do you go? Lose the engine here, where do you go? Over There's going to be yeah. black ground over by the water? Yep. More likely to be flat ground there anyway. There is an old on the airstrip just in at 12 o'clock. Yeah, I saw that. That looks like it's cleared. That might work, although maybe it's cleared for power lines. It does look like it's cleared for power lines. Yeah, no, no, I'm not talking about that. In the valley below. Oh, in the valley, okay. So ahead of us. Yep. We could glide there from here, hey. Yeah. Would it be tight? Yeah, it would. This seems less tight over here. I could be wrong. Maybe not. That's easy. Yeah, that's easy, because it's lower, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. All right. There's a clearing over there in your two o'clock about three yep. miles away. Can't get there from here, can we? No, I'm just saying there are clearings out here. Yeah. I'm just trying to estimate glide distance. I feel like we could get maybe two thirds of the way there. That's correct. On prospect, the prospect call banks down 132 decimal 8 identification 7 8. 132 decimal 8, leaving for hotel today. Alright, finally our climb to the right height. Engine looks happy. Radio, we're supposed to switch at one half. Uh, orientation, well, like we said, we crossed the water, that's the right orientation. Future times I've done. Uh, fuel, it is not time for yet, that's at one six. Now, at zero six, which is coming up.
Zero six, which is coming up, we expect uh, the large outcropping of the lake to be uh, back into the left. Uh, we expect Wentworth Falls on a, a to be almost a beam. Wentworth Falls, which is a big town with uh, law. No, oh, w sorry, Katoomba is a big one. Wentworth Falls behind it. Uh, you can see the road coming through the two of them, and uh, we should be a little ahead of this fork in the river here. We have high ground. This is high ground, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, with high ground uh, in front and to the right of us. And I've turned right while I looked. Quite a bit. Actually, maybe I shouldn't trust the DI. Try to pick a point on the horizon and hold that constant. That's probably smart, isn't it? All right. That's about 2.8, so I'll turn just a little bit further. Uh, let's say the point on the horizon is that hill that's lined up decently at the moment. All right, now, uh, where's that water? I think it's under my wing. Uh, there's a meander, the big area sticking out, yeah. I, I reckon the high, well, yeah, here's Katoomba and Wentworth Falls. Uh, and there's high ground right in front of us. So we are probably a little bit to the right of the track. I'm not sure exactly how far Wentworth Falls is there. Would you say that's like four miles? Put your pencil on it. What should it be? What should it be? That's a good question. Uh, fucking right turn. All right. Uh, should be a little over maybe seven and a half. Um, and I would say what, that's four or five. I don't actually know. Yeah, it's about four. Four to Wentworth Falls here. Okay. All right, so four miles uh, left of Wentworth Falls. Alright, here. Right, so we're halfway off track. What time is it? It's about 06 now. Alright, so we're four miles to the right, halfway. That means uh, 12 degrees. Oh wow, we're quite a bit to the right, eh? 12 degrees, uh, sorry, 4 and 20 is 12 and 60, 24 degrees to the left. Uh, is 27. Four two five four. Hey, Cathay 8156, climbing flight level 280 via the star. Cathay 8156, heavy departures. And we're about. Hey, Cathay 8156, I would say that's uh, two or three miles early. I will advise. Thank you. Finish my turn first. Radio now. Next one is one two four decimal one. Uh, orientation. Well, we have Wentworth Falls back into the right. That's what we want. Future times. Uh, I've done the, e the ETA already. And fuel. Not quite time for it yet. It'll be about when we get there. So let me check the compass again. Yeah, that's good enough. I'll try to hold that point on the horizon.
When you look at the map, you make me nervous. <laughs> There's not some foggy over there, but that Yep. Okay, so, um, this terrain's relatively high. Should I have gone to 7,500? No, no, I can't. That's the wrong direction. I was thinking after we turn, I, I plan for 5,500. 7,500 is kind of impractical, isn't it? Yeah, we're in this airplane, yeah. Yeah, okay. Lost my heading again. Oh, maybe the DI is just bad. Wrong. All right. So I feel like we have a reasonable... Well, they kept you right if we were early. It feels like we have a headwind. Like, are we moving slowly? Yeah. Okay, maybe the headwind's just not quite as strong as uh, I planned for. I think it was, uh, I wrote it down, seven knots. I don't know. How, how strong do you reckon this headwind is? The headwind component, anyway. Oh, I'd say be about 10 to 20. All right, well, I can't explain being early then. What's your time for uh, Oberon? Well, I said 16. Um, and I've got one zero right now. Maybe I screwed something up. Let's see. That's six minutes, it's 12 miles. Now that could be right. Let's see. Oberon's near the edge of the high ground, isn't it? Yeah, that could be right. All right. Coming up on Oberon, well, there's Lake Oberon, that's the big one. The town should be to the right of it, all the roads converging on it. Uh, as I said, it's getting toward the edge of this, like, uh, shape in the high ground there with another uh, inward shape in the low ground, I guess. I mean, uh, off to the left with a big hill off to the left. And I'm sure I can see that now if I look. Maybe not. Probably the. Well, I'll get a little bit closer. Before I convince myself of something wrong. And we also expect Bathurst off that direction, so maybe this is actually over on A. Is there a lake over there? I think I can see a lake over there. Um, I'm to the left of my path, aren't I? I'm up my track. I'm lost, that's my anchor point, so I'll confirm the lake when I get there.
Right, I got confused. I thought that the edge of the trees was the edge of the high ground. It looked like it from back there, but it's not. It's just the edge of the trees. Which aren't so as well marked on here, hey. Okay. There's Lake Oberon. Okay, I, I know what I screwed up. We were late, not early. Yeah, that was dumb. Because we were... I, I, conf I, I double corrected, yeah. We were late, not early here. So I should have uh, added to the ETA, not subtracted. And what about the track? I screwed up the track, too. Oh, we were pointing over that way, weren't we? We weren't steering this heading before. We were steering 3.4, weren't we? Right, but 254 was the corrected heading that I calculated because we were to the right. We were to the right by four miles. Uh, in 20, uh, sorry, four and 20 is 12, 12 and 60, so we were 12 degrees to the right uh, on the way out. And so we need to correct by twice that, it's 24 to the left. Have I done that wrong? So we weren't that far off track. You're, oh, you're did I pinpoint too far to the right? Yeah. Okay, we're, so you had said we were four we're, miles we're, from... We were two miles off track, but we were four miles from... Approximately. What's, so your, what's your priority when you're pinpointing? Things underneath you. Be over the top, be between two. The distance is last, at least accurate. Okay, so so you tell me, when we were there, you would have looked... Uh, how what, what over the top feature would you have used? The river, our position. The river? Where's right. it, the river? The actually, bend in the river. That's what I was looking at. Okay. I, I was right that this was uh, Wentworth Falls off, off our wing though, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you should, have, just, you so should have pinpointed in relationship to the river because it was very distinctive. Okay, so the, the distance was, uh, I guess we underestimated the dis distance because we should have been over here somewhere. Yeah, and yeah. I steered too far to the left. Okay, all right. So the ETA should have been 20. Figure that out at least. Um, it's, it's good that even with that error, which, which was I think relatively large, it's still like obvious where we are on a day like this anyway. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. Now, I actually planned to the aerodrome, but the aerodrome's just a, helico a helipad, isn't it? That's right. Um, and is that just a park? It looks like it's just a park. With, okay. With a serve one the H on it, so good luck. I didn't see the H uh, on the uh, satellite view, but okay. Um, so, anyway, the, that's just in town. I'll just fly over town. What's the uh, industrial stuff off to the right? Logging. Logging, okay. Now there's all the trees back there. Oh, I see, okay. They, they bring them here. This is uh, like a sawmill or something. Yeah. Okay. Reset my DI. Wait, zero. Now we are going to want to turn on to 177, there's 100 degrees to the left, and eventually we're going to go to 55. Uh, and we're going to change the radio immediately. Yeah, okay, so the reason I ask about the altitude is, if we get down to 55 here, it's pretty low, isn't it? It's like 1,000 AGL, I think. Did I just stay at this height for a while and then descend once we get over the lower ground? If you want. I, I mean, that's what I'm comfortable with, but I don't know if I'm required to, to descend sooner because I'm on the uh, eastern half. Well, above 5,000 feet, you're supposed to comply to hemispherical rule. Okay, so I should descend then. Or climb to 7.5. All that, yeah. Yeah. What would you do? I'd go to 5.5. Five. Okay, I'll do that. Alright, the next heading is 177, we said, which is... 
Uh, south. Over town for real. All right. It is one nine at Oberon. I'm going to turn to one seven seven. It does that, doesn't it? Yeah. Happened to me the other day, too. That's not me not closing it correctly, is it? No, just the vibration does it. Yeah, okay. When you go spinning, it does it, too. Yeah. That's but kind of the worst time it could do it. But it won't open because you've got too much dynamic pressure. Oh, uh, sure, okay. Is that true even if you're spinning? Yeah, yeah. You, it's very hard to open it when you're flying. Okay. Even at a low, low airspeed? Even low, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's still 70 miles an hour or whatever. All right. That's compass, log, I have uh, written, no I haven't, we, 1, 9 plus 3, 3 is uh, 5, 2, ETA, for, ETA 1, 5, 2, uh, engine looks good, I'm going to go full ridge for a descent, we are descending to 5, 5. Now you're comfortable with a thousand foot AGL, both because that's legal and uh, there's plenty of places to land around here, hey. Oh, look at it. Yeah. But if it were all trees, would you go high? Yeah, you go higher, but yeah. in this case, no problem. plenty of open areas, yeah. isn't it? They got roads, without power lines. Victor, I've lost them. Yeah, we've got uh, the NDB approach to the balance, and then we've got the NDB approach to the South-southwest of Bama, it's up to approximately one five miles and uh, it's not about 50 south. Victor had a lot of good report on our traffic. Victor had a lot of good report on our traffic. Victor had a lot of good report on our traffic. Victor had a lot of good report on our traffic. Victor had a lot of good report on our traffic. Victor had a lot of good report on our traffic. Victor had a lot of good report on our traffic. Victor had a lot of good report on our traffic. Victor had a lot of good report on our traffic. bit less lean down here. A little bit richer is what I mean. Altitude we're at five five radio, we should have switched by now. Orientation. Um, we're leaving Oberon, we expect Goldbur Goldburn, we're going toward Goldburn, we expect to leave the high, uh, the high ground soon with Lake Oberon behind us and Oberon behind that. Looks good. Uh, future times, we want plus one one for each segment. Um, is 19 plus one one is 30, 41, 52. All right, and fuel, it's time. But uh, about 9-2. In fact, it's past time by, by quite a bit. So, a uh, little bit past 30 minutes. We have 92, it's about here. And I've turned right again. Plane loves to turn right, or I love to turn right. It's it's all you. Well, it's not. Look, it's not all me. I can at least say that. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I should correct, right? So, in a sense, it's me. But get back to five five. It's also true that the plane likes to turn right. Alright, 
so we said that uh, the first one is three zero. Got a few minutes. And the next is one two one decimal two. Four decimal one. That's from over on the Goldberg. Good. Do you, do you uh, have these memorized? The area frequencies? Um, generally, once you've done it around a few times, you get to know. Like, I don't even remember which one this is. I'd have to consult the map. Like, do you know what 121.2 is? Yeah. It should be Canberra approach, I guess, given where we're going. Yeah, 1241 is Melbourne. Yeah. 1212 is also a Melbourne uh, subdivision. Yeah, so I'm curious about that. They say like Melbourne Center or Sydney Center Tablelands or whatever. They, they have them subdivided. King's Tableland, yeah. Is that like where the, uh, is that the name for the area or is that like where the transmitter is? Name for the area, basically. Okay. Nice and green out here. It is, it's pretty. Where's the drought? Yeah, not here, I guess. Yeah. Not today, anyway. Oh. Me drought. There is, is drought money in their pocket. Where are we? We're, uh, well, I guess we're southwest of Oberon, uh, or south of Oberon. But um, come, we're going to be flying over Taraga, Kirkwell. Where's like uh, Kutamundra? That's further out, isn't it? That's right. A lot further out, yeah. Okay, Gunning's west of Goulburn. I did a lot of drives through there. My wife lived in Kutamundra for a while. I always thought it was pretty. It was very pretty out near like uh, yachts and stuff. You know, it's the plantation we're over. Is this for logging? Yeah. Wow. That's all right. out of pine. So have they planted it? Like um, it, it's. Uh, uh, what do you say? It's farmed. All that there. It's plantation agriculture. Yeah. Okay. Over there is all plantation. Meaning they log it and then they plant new ones. Yeah. It takes okay. about 30 years before you get a suitable tree. So. Right. You have to constantly, we can clear an area, you've got to quickly replant it, because yeah. it takes so long to get it back. You need like 30 years times your clear rate uh, lands in total. Yeah. Yeah. They've, got, they've got plenty to chop down, when, when still, but a lot of this is actually getting to the point where they can. Looks like it. But it's sustainable logging. As you can see, the plantation yeah. goes all the way As long as there. the demand's not too high, yeah, that makes sense. Zero, we should be. Uh, station is Canberra. Information is now Charlie. Okay. Uh, we should be near uh, this point, like this point where it goes down to low ground. There should be a river uh, coming up and ending near there. There should be a, a prison here. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see that or not. Uh, back into our right, and we should be more or less over this road. Uh, as far as like really large features, I'm not sure how large this is, but a fork in the river off to the left and a whole bunch of river stuff off to the right. Um, yeah, maybe that fork in the river is too far to see for sure. Still a little early though, but uh, better look at that. Where's that road? There's a road. There's a road. The larger one? No. Yes, that's the larger one. Uh, all right, so I'm looking at the shading for the high ground, right? Yeah. And I understand this in theory, but I have trouble, like, it's less stark in reality. There's low ground over there in the distance. Um, there's low ground up here. Low ground up here. There's probably water down there. I can't see it from here. 
Ah, I should have gone to 7.5. <laughs> uh, here's some power lines. That's useful. Power lines start there and go off to the left. That's probably this, this section of power lines here, which we're just beyond the edge of, probably less than a mile. So I would say we're about here, but there's no water under us, so maybe I'm wrong. Uh, is that a... Maybe there used to be water there. All right, so beyond the power lines is the water starts there, which uh, is probably... <sighs> Doug, why did you tell me to go to 5.5? Five five? I should have done 7.5. <laughs> You're lower than that. I am lower than that. All right, let's get up to 5.5. Five. I lost my heading in the meantime. Alright, it's 3-0 now, which is when we expect it to be at the edge of the high ground. Now you, you tell me, like, the rivers are, like, black and white to you. All I see is trees. Where the hell's the water, Doug? Down the bottom in the ravine. Yeah, okay, so there's a ravine there. Are you, you're saying there's water down there? Yeah. Okay, That's, I agree with that. So I think I was right about those power lines, but I stupidly didn't write down the time. Um, which means this water here, I expect... Oh, hell. off. No, I'm supposed to look at the map first. Curving off to the right there, so I expect that's that 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 water, which I expect to uh, have a fork like near our nose. It's going off that way. Is that a fork there, going uh, with the with the other one going that direction? Is that? Can be. Wait till we get a bit closer, you'll see Let's it. Let's wait till we get a bit closer. All right, I agree. My backup plan is I will do a 180 and go to the power lines. <laughs> or maybe something more prominent. All right, well, when we were discussing altitude, I didn't consider the effect on uh, visibility of ground features, so got to think about that next time. Okay, now if that is the fork, then we expect to come over it again. No, sorry, our track is supposed to be over the fork. We may be to the left of it. If it's a different fork, I'm not sure. Um, we do expect wind farms, but we shouldn't be able to see them from here. We expect Baraga that way, but it's probably it's probably not large enough. We are really looking for roads and rivers, aren't we? So, if that's the fork, there should be a road off to the left, crossing both rivers. Now, I mean, I see tracks. I don't know if they're the road. There's a like a there's definitely a road along the trees there, um, crossing one river and maybe the second. So maybe this is actually the fork. All stations, airmet 0 9 for GAF New South Wales East is available. And there should be power lines going through the mouth of the fork too. Actually, expect it's over here.
Okay, well, I don't see the power lines unless that's them. And I don't see the... There's a road. There's a road. It's crossing what I thought was the fork, but I don't see any water. So, is this dried up or am I just not, am I just blind? I like can, I can see water. All right, here's water, a little bit of water. It's brown. Brown water, curving that way. Which could be this, which could be this. In which case, the fork should be over here somewhere. There's, there's water, there's water. Going that way. I don't see the fork though. There's a road, it's a lot more obvious this way. The road, there's a hairpin turn there. Where did I expect that was? I don't see any hairpin turn in that road though, on the map. There's water up ahead. Alright dog, I'm going to swallow my ego and say I'm lost. Where am I going? <laughs> Maybe to that hairpin torn in the road and the, and the water back there. Alright, go on to your heading, which is supposed to be what, 177? Yep. Okay. Now, I see some wind farms up there. Which is what we expected ahead of us. So okay, I, in time, where should we be? In time, it's 3-5. Three six, so we should be twelve miles beyond this, which is uh, here-ish. Back on heading. On oh, a fucking comp di. All right. Okay, that's about right. All right, we should be here-ish in time, uh, which means we should have that fork in the road behind us. I see a fork in the road right under us. I don't know if it's the right one. Uh, if that's the right one, we should have uh, wind farms right over there. But we see wind farms over there. Um, if that's the right one, we should have Taralga to the east of the wind farms. We should have a fork in the river behind us. That's the one I couldn't find. We should have Crookwell off to the right with more wind farms. And a lot more beyond that. Um, so I see some wind farms, I see more to the right. Perhaps that's Crookwell over there, in which case that would be Taralga. Um, I'm looking for these lakes here. Uh, ponds, let's call them. I'm not sure they're on the map though. We have one bay and caves. Uh, civilization off to the left, right? So I'm pretty convinced this is the right orientation, more or less. I don't know for sure. I, I, like, I can't pinpoint myself, though. Also, I've, I've lost a lot of altitude. Oh, yeah. There's wind farms all over the damn place. Um, there's a road heading off uh, to those wind farms there. I should be looking at the map first. Um, Traffic in the Marie area, Yankee Mark Vix is on Kwan through Pasez. We expect two converging roads that then go uh, towards Taralga. And what's closer to that? Power lines off to the left of the left road. I guess these are the two ver converging roads that go to uh, Taralga, but, or a road that goes to Taralga anyway. Forking, going off to the right.
I think that's that fork in the road. Which means... Ahead of us we should have Taralga with a road going off to uh, Laga and, and Crookwell and this little section connecting the two roads. Power lines beyond, dam that way. Alright. So, that could be this. Uh, how big's Taralga? Not very big. And it's supposed to have the wind farms to the west. Sorry, to the left. is about to Essendon information to now go. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to say. There's a prominent feature. I have a theory. I'm talking about the water and the wind farms. Okay. I have a theory that that water is actually this because I'm really far off track. Meaning the, uh, what is that, Pejar Dam? Pejar Dam? Well, uh, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to head I'm gonna head for it. I'm going to write down, it's 4-0. I didn't write down my heading, but uh, it was maybe 10, 15 degrees to the right of this. Let's say 195 and 40. And then I have to head about the right heading to get to it. 178 to get to it. plenty of five and a half. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure. Gotta be this, because there's more wind farms uh, off to the right. Um, and Goldburn should be uh, in the distance over there. Uh, and how about the height of Goldburn relative to this? 2856 versus 33, three, about 500 feet lower. No, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong place. About 800 feet lower. So, uh, Goldburn may be in that valley over there. This has got to be that dam. So I'll get there and make sure. Oh, yeah, more importantly, uh, back into the right is a large town, which would be Crookwell. With uh, more wind farms extending in a line from it. There's a lot more wind farms than are on the map. That's that's uh, part of the problem with relying on wind farms, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this water even has the right shape to be that dam. Uh, what else do I see on the ground? But let's get there and do the north, south, east, west exercise just to make sure. Yeah, that's Goldburn over there, hey. Uh, right, can you see Goldburn? Yeah, I see civilization over there. It's, really, it's quite spread out. Are you expected to be in that direction? I do expect it to be in that direction. Okay, how far away from Crookwell do you think we are? Ooh, okay, so I'm... Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, it's hard because we're so much lower. I'm gonna say seven miles. We've got a, we've got a lake in front of us. Yep, and we're a beam it. Yep, do oh, it. Point. Oh, I see. Okay. How far do you reckon that is? Oh, no. Sorry. We need a line feature underneath there. us. Look. Look at the dam. Yeah, I see the dam. So I know... We're in line with it. We're in line with the dam. That's Crookwell. Like, I, I expect that's Crookwell. There's a... Uh, I'm just trying to look for something that's not distance-based. Um, I would say six miles. Seven miles. What would you say? Okay. Here's Crookwell. There's the dam. We're in line there. Oh, I see what you mean. You're, you're using the intersection yeah. of those two lines. Right. Two okay. points. Bit between two points. Thank you very much. All right, so that's 4-4 four, four here. Okay, um, that's Goldburn then. Like, yeah, what sort of heading do you think you need to adopt? All right, to so get here. Let's see. That looks like uh, 30 degrees left of north is 330. Uh, minus 12 is... Uh, 318. No, it's not going to be that. 
Am I wrong? Yeah. It's too far. Maybe is that 20 degrees? Maybe you reckon? Oh, Bill, we're going south. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong part of the map. Thank you. All right, that's about 30 to 20 degrees right of south, which means 160 minus 12 is uh, 148. Okay. I'm gonna say. Let's go with that. 148. Right, what sort of distance do you reckon we're from Goulburn now? Es estimating by sight, I'm really Put bad at it. On. I, I just want to do it by sight first to check. I'm going to say, I don't know, 15 miles. If I do the, if I do What's this... The hotel Oscar, Melbourne Centre, just say again the... 12, all right. 148, 12 miles, we expect six minutes to get there. I'm going to say, uh, turn to 148, actually check this first. All right, talk now. Uh, four, five. Four, five, almost over the dam. Hotel Oscar, and I put it on traffic to camp. Five plus six minutes is five one. Revised ETA. A little bit late. Oh no, we're not late. That's surprising. Maybe I've done this wrong, but I'm gonna think about that in a minute. Compass first. Uh, and I had said what. Uh, 148. All right. I'm going to steer the heading and see what happens. That's Goldburn ahead of us, I'm pretty confident. All right, log. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's 12 miles, we expect 5-1. I'm just going to let that stand for now. Uh, the engine is happy. Uh, flow rate is 3-5. Like I need a bit more power. Altitude, we're at 5.5. Five. Radio, we're still supposed to be on this frequency. Orientation, we're heading toward Goulburn. Got the dam here under us. Wind farms under us, which is what we expect. Uh, there should be more water ahead of us. There he is, good. Uh, future times, we said 5.1. And we said we were over the dam at 4.5. All right, well, that was embarrassing. Okay, so um, I shouldn't have lost altitude back there. I would have been able to see the rivers better. Um, maybe wait till I get over the rivers I, and before trying to understand them. I still couldn't find the damn fork in the river. Uh, you could see it, I'm sure. Where was it? Well, which side of us was it on? It was to our left. To our left. All right, so I, I had steered too far right. It's probably the systematic error I'm making. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, we actually want to go to the aerodrome, which is what I planned for, which should be beyond uh, Goulburn and the highway. Yep. How big is it? Like, is it, it's got uh, paved runways? Okay. So I should be able to see it. Yep. Heading of 148 is more or less working, it looks like. And we expect the aerodrome to be at the right edge of town. Six is a little bit before now, and we've got seven seven. So that's seven seven at one hour, which is about here. So I feel like we're a little bit low in terms of the plan. If, I, if I've done that right, seven zero seven five seven seven should be maybe there. Keep an eye on that. I guess it is actually a few minutes late, so, but still. Now, after we leave Goulburn, just make sure we got the right uh, 121 decimal 2, and it'll eventually be 46. Uh, Can you see the aerodrome from here? Yeah. You know where to 
to look better than I do. I'm looking for a cleared, flat area with pavement. How many runways has it got? The main one is very, you've got a grass cross strip. I mean, you won't see that because it's grass everywhere. I'm guessing it's that at like uh, 11.30, but it might be... New Zealand, 11, oh, uh, what is, what's the orientation of the runway? Is it like this? Arrival, okay, then. I think I see it. Okay. Lawrence, Human Alpha, runway 34, flight level 400, New Zealand, 11, 23. Yeah, you see that fog in the distance and you're 2 o'clock? Yeah. Just beyond that hill, which is beyond it, is Canberra. Okay, yeah, right. Yankee Mark, Victor's three minutes for parachute drop from flight level. The fog is over Lake George? Yeah. Okay. Right. You reckon we could glide to the aerodrome? I think we're just beyond, maybe? Yeah, we're just a bit out. Okay. We have got a tailwind behind us at the moment. So we're, we're fine, mate. With the tailwind, maybe? So if you lost it here, you'd probably go for a field instead. Right at this point in time, yeah. Actually, no, I'd zoom to height because we've got enough. Oh, I think we could make it. Hey, yeah. Make it, yeah. yeah, I forgot we got the energy. So that is the aerodrome straight ahead, hey. Yeah. That's uh, across this way and a little bit brown. Yep. Okay. You see the white hangars, you're pointing at them. Yep. Oh, and uh, shit, they probably got a controlled airspace above them, don't they? Do they? Doesn't, doesn't look like it. Am I wrong? Not a Goldburn. Not in Goldburn, all right. They do. do they don't have a tower. They do do meat bombing. Oh, okay. You listen, listen on the radio for that. I guess actually we're supposed to switch frequency just before Goldburn. I wasn't precise about that. Oh no, it's pretty much at Goldburn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they normally nominate if they're doing parachuting on the area frequency as well. Okay. Here's Goldburn, the town. Is that a rail yard down there? Yep. A racetrack. That was set a VFR Archer X-ray Kilo X-ray. X-ray Kilo X-ray Melbourne Centre. Uh, good morning X-ray Kilo X-ray, we're at the uh, Archer training aircraft currently conducting operations at Albury. We'll be just doing some visual tracking in the found and outbound on the VLR just in case if there's any RPC traffic coming through. We expect to be doing it for the next three zero minutes and we'll call off the normal on the half hour. Racetrack as well, car racetrack. That's good. that's Wakefield Park. I see. Okay. That's where all the high patrol coppers go to do their training, their advanced handling oh, cool. skills. Cool. That makes sense. a good location for it too. Um, I realized why this seemed like it would be early. I was estimating to the town, not the aerodrome, which is a couple miles afterward, isn't it? Maybe three miles. Yeah. Well, I guess we're just about over the top. Yep, all right. So we'll say we're over the top at 5-3. Five 5-3, three. Five three, which is about where I would have estimated if I had done it right. Um, so now we are turning to 4-9. Okay, uh, right, center, left. I guess I should be recording the time after the turn, shouldn't I? No, oh, it's when you're at. You just memorize it. Okay. Oh, I just mean in terms of it takes a while to turn. Maybe that doesn't matter. Because, you know, for a while we're heading that way. All right. All right. Doesn't 
stabilized, yeah. Five. Five. Three, four, five. That's compass, log, uh, let's get back to height. Log, we said 5.3 plus 19 is uh, 0.2, 1, 2. 1, 2, at bar roll. Engine, looks okay. Flow rate, a little rich. Traffic in the Maria, Yankee Mike Victory has dropped completely, not percent for you. Altitude, we're at 5.5, five. we're supposed to be at 5.5. Five. Um, radio, we're supposed to switch now. Next one is Sydney. Orientation, as we leave Goulburn, we want Goulburn back into the left. We want the, to be following the major highway. We want uh, water to our right, if we can see it. Also water out to the left. Here's the highway, Goulburn's back into the left. There's a lake ahead of us, I didn't look at that on here. Expect that? There's a lake on here. I'm happy with the rest of it. Is this water on this map? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, I'm off heading. A little bit of turbulence here. Um, that's orientation. Future times, we want plus 9 on 5-3, gives us 0, 0, 0-2. Yep. 0, 0-2. And uh, fuel, what's the next one? 1-6. All right, 1-6. 1-3, 5-3, New Zealand, I'll leave it. Got to hold the damn heading, which I'm not doing. on the horizon. There's that dip in the hill a little bit to the right. All right. Checking, we should be on one two one decimal two. We are. All right. No, I picked that up. So, my um, ARP. Every time we navigate, I set it while we're leaving Bankstown, and then when we're up here, it's much high. Like, I need to have it way above the horizon. Is this because it needs to fly nose higher at a higher altitude? Okay. Less air. Less air. Oh, right. Less air need, need a higher angle of attack. Right. Okay. That's, that's why on an airliner, when you're at flight levels, have you ever noticed the attitude of the airplane's quite high? No, I never noticed. Okay. No, you don't, because you're sitting in the back, but it's actually quite high. Okay. So. Okay. They need it because of the lack of air yeah, density, right. and even though they've got quite a lot of thrust at yeah. height, they can't go any higher because of the load. Yep, that makes sense. So that's normal, and in fact, maybe I should, well, now I'm used to it, so I'm going to leave it, but next time, maybe I'll redo it once we climb. Just note how many dots it is for yeah. this height. And that it's about one and a half. I'll try to keep it there. Because yeah. I keep descending, and I think that's why. really feels nose high. I'm not used to like cruising this, this high for a long time.
Alright, so when we we'll get to our point, um, it still should be near the road. We expect Shoalhaven River forward and to the right. Um, we expect a series of towns. We've got Maroland, Talong, and Wingillo. Uh, substation off to the left. Little bump in the road pointing at the substation. Highland Farm Aerodrome, if you can see that. Um, with power lines going, crossing a road over there near the substation. So maybe that's a bump in the road. Is there water? Water's not on the map, that's unfortunate. Uh, we got Barama, no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong part. Yeah, that water's still not on the map. Uh, in, with a bump in the road, it's pointing at the substation, but there's another bump in the road beyond it. Wingello off to the right. So. We're a little early, actually, but that could be the bump in the road that points at the substation, but I don't see a substation. Do we have Wingello over here? Sorry. Wingello's small. That could be it. Um, we're over something. Did I expect that? I didn't look for the major feature yet. Shoalhaven River, off to the right, a little bit forward of the wing. All right, there's that. That's a major feature. Mm. We're at Beeman now, it's pointing at us. So we should be around here somewhere. So maybe we were actually, it points at Wingello. Wingello, I don't know how you say that. There's a there's a huge ass quarry. That's gotta be the quarry, right? Um, are we really early? Quarry is pointed out by Shoalhaven River. No, that quarry is near the uh, near the road, so that can't be it. So um, there's a town beyond the uh, Shoalhaven, which is probably Pen Penrose. No, Penrose was smaller than that, wasn't it? Bundanoon, let's say. If it's Bundanoon, the uh, Rail line should be going through it, maybe stopping right after it. There should be a road. What time, what time is it? It is 02 now, which means we should only be here now. That's right. I'm confused by the river then. If this is the major Shoalhaven River, we've passed it. It must not be then. Am I wrong? Back on heading. Maybe it's that. But what's this over here? That's another ravine. There's a lot of ravines to the right of us. It's, it seemed very large. Maybe that's this one then. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. So maybe this is Shoalhaven River, in which case uh, just now we should be over those bends in the road that I mentioned. Up, up, up. And I think this is it here. Yeah. Under the nose is uh, this bend. Under the nose is this bend, I think. Which means we should have Winkello over here, Bundanoon over here, River over here. We've got there's the okay, I see the I think I see the major river. Um, what did else what else did I say? Wingello, Wingello here maybe? Maybe that's Bundanoon. Oh it's no. Maybe Wingello. We're not far enough to have Bundanoon. Uh Yellow has a railway line going through it. I'm not sure I can see that from here. I do see power lines going into it. Um, this is that bend in the road. And there's a river. Right. I reckon that's that bend in the road. In which case, there's supposed to be an aerodrome by I see the aerodrome good all right so I'm a beam the aerodrome now over the road which means we should be about here which is uh, at 04 back on 80 
Get back on heading. Uh. Watch map ground. Don't, don't look so far ahead that you can't see it. Because watch you map ground. Not map ground. Watch map ground. All right, fair enough. I found it in the end. <laughs> You're right. Thank you for the hint about the time. I was getting uh, ahead of myself. Um, four, five. Four, five. Four, five. All right, now, if that's where we were at that time, uh, what did I say that was? Damn it, I can't read my writing, shit. I think it was 04. Um, then we were just barely off track, uh, probably not even one mile. So let's say two, two degrees to the left, so four seven, which is basically no difference. But because I always steer right, I'm gonna turn left a little bit. And it was 04 at that time, which means uh, we're two miles beyond, maybe we're one minute late, so let's say we'll be two minutes late here. So compass, log, engine. Altitude, we're at 5.5 uh, five or so, which is what we want. Radio, we want to stay on this frequency. Um, orientation, well, we got civilization ahead of us. We're following the road still. The road goes off toward the water. Well, toward civilization. And, well, yeah, water coast is that way. All right. Um, future times, I've done. Fuel, it is uh, 06. We want to do fuel at 1.6. Heading again. All right, we expect to be there at 1-4. It is now 07. I'm, I'm not gonna look too early this time. Hey, you don't wanna confuse yourself. Well, okay, so you, you tell me. I'm tempted to look now and figure out which town this is and then just follow the towns. But for the sake of the exercise, I'm supposed to just hold the heading and then figure it out when I get there, hey? Yeah, watch map ground, all right. What, what, what's wrong with following the sequence of towns? It, it, you, you can confuse yourself. Or you become reliant on it and you can't always use that? Is that? Yeah, you'll start doing that instead of using the technique. Okay, use the technique. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pay attention to the towns for now, even though you could in this area. All right. A lot of pinpointing today, which you were trying to do, you're looking in the wrong area for what time it was. <sighs> all right. I need to learn the lesson that you're not going to be that far from where you expect to be. Like, I, I'm worried about being really early or really late, but you're right, we're only a few minutes off. Yeah, okay. And a few minutes is only a few miles. It's hard to trust. I, th I guess that's part of the, the point of this training, is that you can trust this technique. Yeah, you have to. You, you have you, to. You either commit to it or you don't. Yep, all right. <laughs> 
I mean, in theory, I understand, and I want to commit to it. I just, I don't trust it yet. Yeah, I yeah, know, oh, I know. Oh, yeah. You get the same problem a lot of people do, but the main thing is you just got to do the fundamentals. If you do the fundamentals, they will take care of you. Yeah, okay. As you saw, every time yep. I mentioned the fundamental, yeah. you're able to resolve the ambiguity, and we sort of, yep. Okay, so... You, I'm, I'm, you, but you have to, you have to remember, you got to be able to do that on your own. Oh, I understand. I, I, I'm, I'm happy. I feel like I'm uh, becoming more confident. I remember this from the RPL days. It's like, I understand what to do now, and I'm identifying the errors, but a little bit late. And eventually, you do it on time. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the definition of learning is a change of behavior as a result of yep. experience. Hence today's experience should change your behavior. I'm getting better. Like I, I see my behavior changing over time, so that I'm happy. I haven't stopped yet. So what time you got now? One zero. Okay, so have a look at your map. Uh, I will start having a look now. Four minutes from now is what I got to remember. All right, coming up on Mossvale. Well, we expect Mossvale with uh. All right, bow roll. Mossvale ahead of it, or like in front of it, toward us. Uh, Willowvale beyond it. I don't know what this is. Mitigong beyond it. Uh, large features. More importantly, we we expect the reservoir uh, to the right of bow roll. Coastline off this way and the highway to the left of it uh, with this shape next to it. So, again, we shouldn't be there yet, but we got a major town here, we got the water more importantly. We got a uh, major town, major town beyond it. There's the highway. I'm a little bit confused because the highway's closer than I expected to Bowerill. Maybe that's actually Mittagong? Hang on. The lake should point at Bowerill with Mittagong beyond it. Lake, Bowerill, Bowerill. I'm not sure which one's Mittagong, honestly. Maybe it's that one beyond the hill. Does Bowerill creep into the road more than I expected, or am I wrong about which one's the major road? Oh, this is the major road. Okay, I got it. This is the offshoot road. An offshoot road. All right. What's confusing me is the shape of the town is not as I expect. That's the lake, it's pointing this way, that should be Bowerill, but have, is there like more development off to the east than there used to be? Oh, it depends what date your map is. Yeah, well this is the most recent, I think, uh, the one they just published. Um, anyway, that's got to be the lake, the, the reservoir here. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's another, there's supposed to be another reservoir, there it is, yeah, okay, this is it. So here's Bowerill. And it's about on time. Funny about that. <laughs> yeah. All right, I've learned don't trust the shape of the town either. It changes. Yeah, but you got to ask yourself three reasons why barrel is barrel. Yeah. Well, I got the I got the lake, I got the other towns, and I got the road, the major road. Okay, so the next one we are turning to uh, 004. About there, almost north. Uh, the compass right now says I've almost turned onto it already. Let's see. 347 ish. Alright. So we're at Bowerill at uh, 13. I'm going to turn to uh, 004. Uh, X-ray Kilo, X-ray off the fleet, Aubrey, thanks for your help. X-ray Kilo, X-ray Melbourne Centre, thanks. Is that a Kiwi on the radio? Sounded like a Kiwi. Alright. Alright. That's the compass. Log. Uh, we departed at 1.3, so we expect 2.6. Two, two um, engine looks 
good, uh, but I need to go down to 5-5, five, five, no, I'm at 5-5. Five, five. Eventually I'm going to need to descend. Where is that? Not yet, so I'm going to stay at 5-5 five, five for now. Um, then I'm going to lean this a little bit. One to four decimal five five at a half. One thing at a time. All right. One to four decimal five five at a half. As we're leaving uh, Bowral, we expect water, road, road going that way, uh, civilization. So yeah, there's the water, road going that way. Looks good to me. Uh, future time six plus six minutes gives us.